G'day, Matt. I'm here at Kidman Springs Research Station in the Victoria River District where it is a beautiful blue sky day, not too warm, pretty much a perfect day. I'm here in front of the cattle yards uh, with Tim Schatz who manages the the cattle research for the Department of Resources. Behind me is a corrugated tin shed with about 80 people who have come out here for the day to, to learn more about some of the research that's been go going on out here. Tim Schatzer, you'd have to be pretty happy with that turnout. Yeah, it's a great turnout this year. Um, we've got um, good numbers and, and the really exciting thing this year is that there's a lot of producers um, and, and not so many uh, just government people out for a sticky beak, but they're actual people who are on the ground cattle producers, so it's great to see all them have, have uh, taken the time and effort to uh, come here and, and join in. Obviously we're here in the, the heart of the Victoria River District, uh, but where have people come from for today? Well, we actually had one guy drive all the way from Marlborough in Queensland. He's a stud breeder there, so he's taken several days to drive here. Um, we've had people driven up from the Barclay, um, from the Sturt Plateau, and um, and people have come down from Darwin, so um, people have come from yeah all around, and of course um, just the locals as well. Now that's that's an incredible drive, especially from Queensland to come here for for the field day. Uh, what's the draw card? What's on the agenda for today and and tomorrow morning? Well, I guess people are keen to to hear about the research that we've been doing on on cattle production in northern Australia. Um, the the industries are doing it a bit tough um, with the changes in in the markets and everything like that and so producers are having to become more and more efficient if they want to uh, stay afloat basically and so uh, people are, are becoming more and more interested in in anything they can do to boost their efficiency and productivity and that's where research comes in that we can and we are looking at ways of uh, improving cattle production um, and and uh, in you know what is quite a harsh environment up here in the north and what are some of the key research projects that you'll be telling producers about today? Okay, so we've got a number. Um, we've, ha we've got talks from people who specialise in um, pastures in the rangelands uh, and about carrying capacities and managing burning and stocking rates. Uh, we've got talks on the cattle side of, thing about, uh, side of things about um, uh, some work we've been doing here over a long period of time with uh, selection for uh, fertility and breeding a more fertile Brahmin herd and also uh, talks on crossbreeding where we've uh, bred uh, just the standard commercial Brahmins that most people have up here with an adapted Bos Taurus breed called the Centipole and uh, we'll be able to get, now give people the results on how those, the progeny are performing from that work and also we've got talks on uh, breeding poldness into your cattle so that's uh, uh, breeding cattle without horns which um, is becoming more popular uh, as animal welfare uh, considerations are becoming more and more important so there's a number of other things as well. Well we'll be getting the latest on those research projects on the Country Hour but now this field day happens uh, every two years, why is that one, why not every year? I guess it, you know it does take a lot of um, time and effort to um, produce a field day, and it's hard for producers to get away. And we just feel that um, you know it's a big commitment. Some of these people are driving five, six hundred kilometres or more, and we want to have something new to tell them. And so um, every year is maybe uh, it might get a bit repetitive, but if they're coming every two years, then um, they're keen and they will hear some new stuff that they just didn't hear last year and, and we weren't not just going through the motions. So I guess we'd rather have people keen to come and, and keep it that way rather than get a bit stale. Now, of course, uh, field days like this turn out to be a pretty big social event as well. I understand quite a few people will be camping overnight and there might be a bit of a party atmosphere later on in the day, Tim. Yeah, it's always a really good night. Um, generally, people uh, catch up with each other and, and a bit later in the night, often a guitar will come out around the campfire and, look, it's just a great time um, for people to catch up and, and enjoy the night. Well, I brought my swag and uh, my harmonica, which I'm learning to play, so you never know, I might even bust that out. That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not sure it will be great, but I'll give it my, my best go. Maddie. that is Tim Schatz, who is he here with me at Kidman Springs Field Day out in the Victoria River District.